Greetings! I'm Epictetus, and this is Epic Tech. Welcome back. So, I was thinking about painting this guy in between episodes, and then I started reading the comments where people had a fantastic name for it. Well, not so much a fantastic name, or just, just they were noticing the shape, and I hadn't even thought of it. It looks like a giant mouse cursor. So I decided to double down on the idea, I added a little bit more of a tail, and it is now a flying mouse cursor. I love it. <laughs> it's exactly what it looks like. Oh my, oh my, oh my. So, what do you say we go have some adventures, huh? I'm looking down at the rebel base there, and every time I move my mouse, I'm at a slightly different, like, load distance for the terrain, so I get a... It looks different. That's weird. Anyway, let's go. And let's get to a better position. Oh, I also need to know where this SOS is that I'm heading to. I believe, yeah, it's over to my left. Okay. Let's see if we can get up this hill and get some, get some air. This thing is so heavy, but man, those thrusters really help. I'm so happy with this thing. Oh, also, 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 many people suggested putting air brakes on this thing, and I should have thought about that before I took off. That would have been smart, huh? Oh well, next time. Let's see, there's an unknown signal over there with two minutes left on it. I don't think I'm going to make it in time. Should I give it a try? 50, 49, 48? Nah, it's not worth it. Not gonna do it. We're just gonna fly through this little valley. Woohoo! I don't have very much visibility. It looks like the walls are really close. But then, when I come out to the external view, it's like, oh, that's no, that's no big deal. No biggie. You know, I could go full thrust like this for a very long time, but I don't really want to hold my hand on the, on the W key all the time. So, I'm thinking... Really quickly go in and set up a thrust override. Somebody, somebody mentioned that. I can't think of. I've got, I've got two different groups called thrusters. Why do I, why do I have that? Which one is this one? That's with a lowercase. Well, whatever. I'll take this one. Increase thrust override. Decrease thrust override. So now. There we go. Really don't need much in the way of thrust override to keep this thing going. Also, that SOS is directly below me. So, once I make a saf safe landing, I'm going to try to uh, get some air brakes on this thing. Because it really would be nice to not have to figure out how to stop. <laughs> down here. So we've got an SOS, but I'm not seeing any buildings or anything. Oh, now I am. It's another little mountain base there. Okay. <laughs> Let's just turn completely around. Why not? I think the downward... Is that gonna work? Is this gonna make me... Oh, okay. Tree. Thank you, tree. I appreciate that. If 
you know... This can't be good for my wings. Okay, let's see if I can actually, like... <laughs> land on a tree? Yeah, no problem. I need, like, grinders in the front of this thing or something. There we go. We don't need a lot of speed, just enough to kind of hop over that. Okay, thrusters off, and let's drive. It may not be the easiest thing to drive, but it is really handy. I'm hoping to go the entire episode without losing it. And this, uh... <laughs> trees are my biggest enemy. They're not... It's not actually doing any damage when I hit these trees, which is nice. I'm just... Cutting a swath through them. Alright. Time to get out. Time to get out and walk. What do we got? It's just a little SOS beacon... Th oh. Oh, I'm so sorry, dude. A screen, huh? To whoever reads this message, my name is Frank, captain of the cargo ship Star of Hope. I was left on this planet by pirates. They stole my ship when they dropped me off next to this bunker. Told me if I was lucky, there might be some supplies for me to survive on, until someone might happen to stumble upon me. I was able to remotely drop my emergency beacon, but unfortunately, the control panel to this bunker is damaged. I don't have any way to repair it. I'm running low on oxygen and don't have the energy to go too far to try to find out if anyone is on this planet. So I'm probably just going to sit beneath this tree and try to reserve as much oxygen as possible. I hope somebody detects my signal before it's too late. And I hate to tell you, dude, it's too late. If you still had skin, I'd help you, but you don't. Okay. Don't need the beacon anymore. So... Apparently, he was trying to get in. Oh, yeah, that's definitely not uh, looking good there. Construction components and computers. I have those. Okay, what do we got? We have UD, air vent, and in. Why does it say UD? Oh, well. Uh, let's go ahead and depressurize... In. Ud. Okay. Ud is the one. Lights on. Ooh. There's a old base thing going on here. Um, Ud, you can go. I wonder if it's going to pressurize in here. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, I saw that. Is it enabled, do you think? Nope. He's not working. Oh, I see. I'm in the right faction. Ha <laughs> ha. Apparently... Wait a minute. I'm in the right faction. Okay. Well, that's fine. Okay. Depressurize. On or off. Hang on. What do you... Oh, there we go. Now we got some oxygen. Nice. Uh, let's see. Air vent. In. Ooh. Control room. Reactor room. Air filtration room. Let's look at this. Make sure everything's in good operating order. Ooh, plenty of O2. That's nice. Storeroom 2. There's no way to open those doors right here. Or there. So maybe these? Let's see. In. Ud. No, not, I don't want to open Ud. See, I think that's... Yeah. Okay. We're going to depressurize. 
There's no, there's actually no place for it to depressurize, so that's why it's not doing that. UD! I've got an unknown signal, like, falling on top of me. Ah, there he is. Hello there, sir. May I have your things? I want to press your button. There. I got a cow rifle. Alright, let's see what else we can find up here. Um, Ud needs to close. There are lights. Let's see if I can enable the lights. Uh, let's also go ahead and turn on depressurize. Oh no, depressurize off. The red button seems like a bad thing to press. Uh, light. There we go. On. Hey. There we go. We got some lights. Let's see what else we got. So control room and reactor room. Uh, control room. Ooh. I am really glad I'm in the same faction. <laughs> the red button. Uh, storeroom door and storeroom door. Okay. Is that going to let me in through these? Ew, ooh. Uh, bet I know what the red button does. Warhead 22. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm not going to do that. Oh my. Oh my, there are a lot of rifles here. This is some kind of military base. Missiles. Ammo. What do we have in here? Just uranium. These are like remote drone things. They don't have cockpits, they just have remote controls, I'll bet. I don't see any cockpit, and the fact that there's an antenna and a camera on there, yeah. Oh my. And these are remote control tanks with Gatling turrets on them. Loaded up with ammo. Okay. I'm glad I am um, on their side. So, let's see. Reactor room. Unauthorized personnel will be shot. Well, apparently I'm authorized. Oh. Oh. Maybe I'm not authorized. Hmm. I'm a little nervous about being shot, so let's take a look. Um... Definitely do not want the red button. That's pretty much all there is to this base. And I don't know what P is. I wish I knew, like, who these factions were. Like, maybe pressing the red button and running away could be a good idea. I don't know if I should neutralize the stuff here or whether I should just leave. There's a button called light. Darn it. Well, I'm going to leave their front door open. And we're going to continue on. Because I'm not really sure what to do here. So, uh, FYI. There was a small issue. With the whole research mod thing. I was unable to actually build the air brakes a moment ago. So we ended up having to remove the research mod. And it, we've been having some issues with it for a while. And so we just decided to remove it. And I've got a spreadsheet of things that I can't build and what it's going to take to be able to build them approximately. Not exactly, because some of them are secrets. And um, that's what we're going to be doing. There we go. So now I have some air brakes. I'm not sure how well just a single one will do, but if it's not enough, then I will add more. 
And I'm going to figure out how to use those. Because I've never used those before. It's okay. So apparently, some of the research is unlocked far, far away. Some on the Mars-like planet. Some on the opposite side of the alien planet. So we're going to have to take some long trips. Assuming it survives. Hopefully it will. Okay, the air brakes. There they are. Uh, open close. So if I hit that... I was expecting an animation of some kind. Oh, there we go. Aha! Uh -huh. That's it. That might be a problem for visibility. That 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 could be a problem for visibility. Luckily, I don't actually fly that way, so that's not a problem. Okay, brakes are off again. <laughs> that should not work. But it does. All right, now that's not the direction I want to go. We're going to fly back to some of the original places that that we saw as we landed on the planet. Because I left some things behind that I wouldn't li mind picking up. Oh, there's a nice little flat valley over here. Let's take a skim by. You know what? I just realized something. We never found that big airplane. You know, the one that I originally headed into the valley for? I'm turning back. I want to go see if I can find that airplane. I mean, it had to land somewhere, right? And yes, I can confirm that I am thoroughly lost. I have no idea where I am. Like, I don't even see any... I don't even see any signals around. Where the heck did I go? Well, we might be just flying until we can find something. Which means I better cut down on the thrust so that I'm not wasting fuel. Not that I can't find more fuel, but let's fly for a while. Sounds like fun, right? You know what's really cool about having thrust override? I can get out. Look, look, I can just walk around. It's no big deal. Okay, this is pretty cool, actually. Anyway. I replace this. It's all good. I don't know, I actually have a whole lot of reason to be out, be out here at all. I, mean, I guess I could install something, but... What would I install? I don't know. All right. Hey, that look, is that something up there? I see something. It might just be a cluster of trees or something, but it looks bigger than that. Okay, that's the ski lodge. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the ski lodge. That's the Ironwood, whatever place with the fire and the and the police and and all that kind of thing. I I don't know how I ended up coming back this way. Oh wait, that's the valley. Oh perfect. This is the direction I wanted to go. That's the direction the airplane went. Let's pick up some speed. Okay, so this is that wreck that I spent so many episodes at. I guess it was like two or three. It felt like forever. And that's the rebel base over to the right. Here's the mining operation here. And this is the direction I want to go. Are those trees over there? Or something else? They look like mushrooms. How well do these brakes work? Pretty darn well. Excellent.
I want to hop out and look at these. Because I have literally... I haven't spent a lot of time on alien planets, but... Enough that I would think I would have seen this before. But no, I guess I guess not. That's, that's a cool little tree-looking thing. Huh. Go figure. I had no idea this was on the alien planet at all. Well, that's cool. Okay. Back to the plane. All right, thrust override, go. Come on. Come on. Good grief, my wheels work better sometimes. Oh, eh. <laughs> Would help if I turned off the brakes. <laughs> Keep forgetting, I've got two different kinds of brakes. I'm sure that happens to pilots all the time. I'm like, right. Ground brakes and not ground brakes. Whoa! Oh, 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 that was fun. The game froze there for a minute, and when I came out, I was aiming at the ground. Ooh. I see something out on the horizon. I doubt it's anything important, but. We're gonna go look at it. Oh, we have something. Runway approach, look at that. There is a runway out here. I knew there had to be a runway out here. What's that one over there? Civil airfield. Look at that. I didn't think it was going to be this far out, honestly. I was really pretty much 100% sure I'd missed it somehow. All right. This is Epictetus coming in for a landing on the random thing. Yeah, I'm not very good at that whole radio chatter thing. As you can tell. Ooh, this is a nice looking airport. Alright. Air brakes. Not air brakes. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey. <laughs> that was like almost a little too fast. Oh, wow. Someone put a lot of work into this. This looks like an Alice thing. Alright, let's park this guy and take a look. That's that airplane I saw fly overhead, too. Wow, this is huge. I could actually park my thing in here. Yeah, AE4E. -E. I think it's actually like Ash 4E. No, that's not right. I don't know. Wait, it's just a small block. That is a small block door. Oh my word. The amount of time that went into that I, it is unimaginable. Oh, it's a large piston. Okay, hang on. No, no, no. Wrong one. And then piston one reverse? No? I feel like this one needs to go back in. This is hangar 2 lights. Hangar 2 all doors. Nah. <laughs> is that going to open all the way this time? No. That's okay. That looks really cool one way or the other. That, that's amazing. Ooh. Careful. Careful now. Oh, are those all... Those are... Those are all warheads. 
Okay, I hope those aren't armed. What we got here? Access denied. You don't just let random people come in and take your stuff? Come on. Ooh, ice. Hey, you guys don't mind if I take a little bit of ice, do you? Maybe a few other things. And you know, I haven't been carrying a gun around. I don't even have a gun. And there's been a couple of times where I wished I had, just for a, you know, sense of peace. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. Yeah, anyway. Now I can grab one if I need it. That's all I'm saying. So what's in this one? Hangar space available? Cool. Well, yeah. Totally gonna park in there. Would I be able to fit in there? No. <laughs> no, I don't think that's gonna work. I feel like I should fix up what I broke here. Yeah, see? All fixed up. I didn't break it. How are my wings doing, by the way? I keep knocking down trees with them. But, yeah, they're still fine. Okay. No complaints. I'm gonna go check out the control tower and this big old ship or airplane. But airplane first. This thing looks awesome. Holy cow. This thing is massive. I mean, other than height, I could park my entire airplane base thing in here. This is insane. Oh, wow. What? Wow. This is insane. This has to be off the workshop. Like, whoever made this, I, I don't know who made this, but whoever did, well done. Holy cow. And this is Alice, right? Okay, so Alice at least brought it into the world, but it doesn't mean that... Yeah, it doesn't mean that it's an Alice creation. It just means that Alice, like, blueprinted it in. But if this is an Alice creation, holy cow, well done. That's that's all I can say. This thing is just very impressive. Access denied. Okay, that's fine. I didn't need to go in there. Oh, and somebody has logged off in here. Who's in there? Being used by somebody else. Oh, that's Alice. <laughs> Alice is hiding in there. Okay. Wait a minute. Is this... Yeah, this is a different... Air. Oh, my goodness. There's another entire hangar up here. Wow. Access denied. Access denied. Look at all these... Look at all these little buggies. Oh. I could join Alice's faction but don't think I'm really supposed to. So I'm just going to assume that they don't want me stealing things, which, you know, I can understand that. That is one impressive flying vehicle, I gotta say. <laughs> that makes mine look lame. No, actually, mine just looks lame without that. It doesn't need help. Ooh, light switch on bottom. Bottom what? Oh. Oh, neat. Grind me. This is left over from the research stuff. So, in theory, I've I would be unlocking something. But unfortunately, that mod is no longer in because it wasn't working properly. So, I'll have to find out what I just unlocked. I have no idea. 
All right, very cool. What else is there to see? Hello, sir. I was wondering if you could give me a tour of... I was wondering if you could give me a tour of the, uh, of the ship. And, yeah. So, if I could get a tour of the ships and just would you let... You know, these guys are always so rude. No? Okay. I'm glad these guys aren't shooting at me. This must be a mining corp place. Let's see if I can find a sign. I'm not seeing any signs. But I don't see any keep out signs either. Let's go tour this one. Wow, look at all these refineries. Just hanging out there, doing nothing. Access denied. Nobody wants me stealing their stuff. It's not fair. Hmm. Barracks. <laughs> the barracks of the future. Stick your soldiers in cryostasis. They won't even age while sleeping. Very cool. It looks neat. That I can say for sure. It's tempting to just steal that thing. But, uh, no. Oh. Holy cow. <laughs> it's got guns for shooting anything behind it. And look at all the thrusters. Hydrogen thrusters. And those are ion thrusters, aren't they? No. T4 armor ion engine. What? Okay, that's insane. And that is a T4 armor hydro engine. Okay, that's part of a mod. <laughs> and these are T4 ion engines. Okay. Alice, your building skills are amazing, but I'm pretty sure you didn't build this. Whoever did spent far more time. I mean, a lot of time on this. Wow. This is the landing gear? This is huge. I'm just in awe of this thing. Good grief. All right, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I know I did. And uh, let's just say I'll see you next time on Epic Tech.